Hi everyone and welcome to our last match of the evening for the 2022 Yonex Canadian International Challenge Tournament and we are here in Markham. I'm Mike DeBell. Along with me is Steph Stefan Cadu. Stefan Cadu, keep it. Are you going to call get, me something I'll different again? It, huh? I'm going to call uh, you something else soon. Our co-main event. You understand what it means? Yes. Right? I just explained to you last yes, time. No, I got yeah, it. Yeah, I okay. uh, do you want to read it out? Absolutely. We've got Brian Yang, who is now 25 in the world, broken in the top 30. Wow. Canadian player, obviously home crowd favorite. Are they? Are they even cheering? I don't hear them. There they are. Uh, playing a uh, French gentleman by the name of Christo Popov. I actually did not realize he is from Bulgaria originally. Did you know that? Uh, I think I did. Yeah, I think I remember. They, they and he is a, a very accomplished singles player and also plays with his brother. Same last name and doubles as well, so it should be a good battle. I mean, I know Brian's got the edge right now ranking-wise, but I think this is uh, this is going to be a very close match. Uh, yeah, this will be interesting. Popov, the lefty, he's, he's big, he's strong. He's got a lot of variety, and he's also a fairly young guy. Yeah, both of these players, young players, uh, I would say probably this almost the same amount of experience internationally. And maybe Popoff might Actually have a little bit more. He's only twenty. Yeah, That's scary. He's only twenty. Brian's yeah, twenty-one, but he's only twenty. Wow. Yeah, they're both uh, they're both strong. So both around the same stage in their careers, and um, yeah, with a fair bit of international experience. And Brian's been training. At uh, Victor Axelson, the Olympic and World Champions uh, training uh, facility in Dubai, so he's been training with Victor a bit. How often does he go there? Just pops in from time to time. I don't know. That's all yeah. I got. I know he's been there though. Right. I think he's been he's been there off and on. And I uh, and then he did the not demonstration. Not a bad guy to train with. No, and you might learn a few things from yeah. him. World champion, Olympic gold medalist, and uh, Brian was part of the exhibition here in Markham a couple of weeks ago when Victor came to uh, to play. They had him play. Uh, Demonstration singles, and he politely lost to Victor. <laughs> you know, you can't beat the the guest. Yeah. So that was nice of him. But it was a close game, and uh, yeah, like you said, Brian's our top singles player right now, and he's really his his game has become an international style game. He always had a really good uh, pace and style to his game when he was in junior, but he's really uh, he's really become one of these one of these players that when international players come up against him, you can they know he's good, and he's had a few good upsets or really close games. So. Everybody's, uh, he's on everybody's radar. Yeah, and I think he's, I mean, he was a candidate last year for most improved. I mean, he didn't win, but he was right. one of the top four candidates. And he's, you know, he matches up to me. He's got the, he has the, the right skills and the right game style for kind of international play. He's, he can play some world class net shots. He's got what I would consider to be world class defense. He can move pretty much as well as everyone. He's smooth. And, um, you know, I, I think when he's playing his best, he's managing maybe the mistakes a bit better. And when he's not, maybe not as much. But, um, he, he's a dangerous player, and he's not someone you look. Or, you know, the top players are, are excited to play him in the first or second round of a of a bigger tournament. Yeah, it's not exactly. Not what they're uh, you know looking for. And and Popov being uh, uh, playing in Europe a lot, he's got a lot of exposure to some of the top European mm -hmm. players uh, every week that he's playing tournaments. So he's going to be for his age. You'd consider him a bit of a seasoned veteran. Uh, for international play. So it's going to be an interesting <laughs> game. <laughs> what he does in terms of, because he's getting equally, if not more, success in doubles right now with his brother. And so it's it's not something that's common at all to, to play singles and doubles uh, at this level. It's usually something that you maybe do within your own, your own country, uh, obviously do as a junior. But typically when you reach a certain level internationally, you are doing singles only. Uh, and then if you're doing doubles or mix, usually just of those or sometimes both. But it's, it's rare to to do both at a high level. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if, you know, is this something he's going to be able to maintain, you know, five years from now if he wants to break into the, you know, the, the next couple levels of of, uh, uh, of singles. So we'll see. But a very promising young uh, young kid. Or man. So this whole time, I thought he was French. I was, I was saying, like, pop off. <laughs> I was yeah. like, poof, poof. I was trying to make it your accent. No, again. I was trying to make it cute, like, poof, poof. Okay. And I was like, oh, he's not in French, he's Bulgarian. I was like, I gotta change, I gotta <laughs> poof. I changed <laughs> it up, right? <laughs> so, early change of the bird. See that a lot, as we saw in some of the earlier matches, especially doubles, but uh, men's singles too. There's that backhand serve we talked about earlier. Nice net for Brian. Four single lift. Here we go. And I think you know after watching just the, the women's singles, to me one of the bigger uh, adjustments with the men's game is a lot more. 
kind of mid-court pushes. If you're doing a lot more transitional stuff, if, if it's a little too straightforward, a bit too much net shots, the players tend to uh, to be too good at, at countering the net and stealing the net. So they're, you'll see them push each other off the net yeah. or looking, you know, showing the push, turning the net to a, a quick a quick low drive or low lift. Oh, oh they're really hammering. Nice cut wow, off. Wow, yeah. that was in. And that was like all that power he generated. There was almost no body rotation. It was all really just using the racket. I mean, yeah. the Arm rackets now, are the majority of the players are playing with head heavy rackets and, you know, if you have the ability to kind of go back and forward really quick, you're going to get that racket to bend more and just generate tons of power. You don't have to be uh, physically, uh, as Cass calls you, a beast. Beast, yes. Being a beast helps, though. It does help. I just muscle shot, no technique. Throw my shoulder. That. Yeah, so smooth. This is where I find like where Brian is in, in that respect, kind of similar to Michelle, just the way he floats around the court and his touch of the net uh, is so smooth. Yeah, and good well and good counter patience. attack. Yeah, patience here. I think the thing that that Brian does well, and I'm not sure about Popoff yet or not, but Brian has a good pace to the game that keeps the opponent running around a lot and right to the corners, and he keeps the pace on the on every rally, so it's hard to to keep that pace up for a, a full solid match. He's not always blasting it to the floor, but you're really covering a lot of court, and a lot of birds come back. Oh, oh good shot from Popov. He's stuck with his straight smash until he got <laughs> what, he, uh, what he wanted, which is a, a loose return. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've definitely, you know, a few of the matches that I've watched recently where, where Brian's not been as successful have been a bit frustrating because it's been bit making mistakes when he's in position and that's where he gets himself in trouble when he, when he can find a way to you know just to be a little more high percentage um, and, and go a bit deeper into the rally you know you get to see his full arsenal and he can really do a number of shots oh yeah you see Bahoff will make it pay you leave that short Kind of already get the sense that Popoff's going to be uh, steady Eddie. Yeah. He's not going to give you a lot. And I think his doubles um, abilities, he's got a really good attack when he wants to use it. Do you think that, so if you're if you're Brian right now and, and you know, part of your game is just doing the pushes and the odd occasional like kind of you know, drive to the body, and are you, do you become a little more hesitant doing that, knowing that your opponent is, you know, because it's one thing to drill that, and it's another thing to, to play an opponent who's actively playing doubles term and, and successfully you know, success in those tournaments. Do you yeah. feel a little bit intimidated to get in, to engage into that? or I, I think you're probably a little wary. and You probably test it a little bit and see, test the waters a bit to see what comes back. But I think, yeah, you're a little bit more aware of it. His racket's probably up a little bit more ready for that sort of thing than a normal singles player would be. I mean, at the same time, you can't go away from that game plan no. because that's going to be part, part of it. So maybe it's a matter of you hit one to create space and then you, you go back to, um, you know, you sort of don't engage in too many of those in a row. Oh, that was way up. It, yeah. Struggling with this distance yeah. a bit. Well, so far, um, not much separating the two. Just a few more ex unforced errors from Brian. So he's got to just find a way here to control it before it uh, runs off to 11 too quickly. And and that's a big thing in, in badminton, right? It sometimes that's the difference between all the players uh. is the unforced errors, especially in juniors. I mean, here sometimes the the players are going for things a little bit more and maybe more than they should at times, a little, little less patient. But So that, that, that shot, I think it was a good idea to attack that. Yeah. The, sh the shuttle looked like it was a little bit short. He just didn't need to go for line. Right. right. Whether it's out of respect for Popov's defense. There we go. There you go, create your space. Popov is being very patient here. He's uh, relying on Brian making mistakes. Right now, it's good enough. He's letting him sort of yeah. self-destruct. He's, he's picking his moments, right? He's sort of rally around, keep the bird coming back, keep Brian in the corners, and yeah. then when he gets a short one, he'll go after Part it. Part of it is, as an athlete, if you just recognize your opponent is maybe a little bit off and they're they're giving you, uh, they're handing you, mis you know, free points and mistakes and let, <laughs> let them do that. And then once they pick up their game, then you, then you have to do a little more, and that's fine. At which point you may have a big enough lead, it doesn't matter. 
Here we go. Attack this one. Yeah. yeah. Oof. Mm. Almost made its way. Those in. are hard to let drop. Yeah, I know. Short, like, it feels better it, to smash yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> bird kind of slows down and. Should really be confident in your line calls there. Crowd is a little quiet right now. I think we need to. Uh, do you want to do one of your jumping jack routines? We get one fired up. Can you run across the back of the court? We were doing that earlier. That helped out. I may not be <laughs> make it back on time. <laughs> <laughs> okay to cover <laughs> the game <laughs> without me. Like pull a hamstring going down the stairs. Yeah, they're a bit quiet. We need to. He needs to get the crowd going. Here we go. Boom. Hey. Ah, come on! You can't miss that. Good setup smash. He had you know the shot he wanted to do whatever he wants to. Yeah, I think it's just a bit, a bit of. Um, was, was he reverse slicing that? He right. might have. Yeah, a little, a little bit, fancy, of a little yeah. something. But I think he's just trying to settle in and uh, Popoff is playing really solid. He's not giving any free points. I think that Brian's. Brian kind of did this in his previous match. It was kind of Lucy, Lucy on the first. There you go. Yeah. On the first uh, game, and then he got it together. But this is a different opponent. This is a more solid opponent. Oh yeah, yeah, he's yeah. just taking his time. Just yeah. wait, you know. Popov's wow. seems comfortable moving around the court. Four. He won a lot of points at the end. And he's just he's waiting for either a, a, a short lift or a weak shot from Brian. And the key for Brian is just to keep in keep the bird in the court and keep the length and and make these rallies longer because he's not he's not tiring Popov uh, enough right now to make a dent in his game. And uh, he's gonna have to keep that get that consistency up. It's sometimes hard to tell with Brian. I, I feel like right now there's a bit of a lack of energy, but <laughs> he he can be similar when he's fired up too, so he's pretty yeah. <laughs> even keel, right? He doesn't get yeah. too excited, and he doesn't get too low. Um, yeah, and he knows it. I mean, we watched Neil Yakira in the doubles, base. and he's pumped and jacked and ready yeah. to rock the whole time, and Brian's kind of a low... Like, what's he thinking? Oh, I think <laughs> he's excited right now. Actually, I can't tell. Yeah, <laughs> I, and I know he says that about himself. He says I'm pretty low energy, low vibe. It can definitely work to your advantage because you can confuse your opponents, but then <laughs> sometimes you confuse the crowd too. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right now our crowd is confused. Like, <laughs> what's happening? Is he trying? Um, just a couple little things. This game is definitely not over. Uh, it's a little too soon to just practice things for the second game. You can get back into this. So gotta do now. And he's probably feeling a little pressure. He's he's in the home crowd. Number one seed. A lot of expectations. Yeah, number one seed. Facing two of his mentors. Yes. Us, right? Yes. And I think we both coached him at Pan Am Juniors. At Remember he point. had food poisoning? Oh, yeah. Remember that? <laughs> I forgot about that. He had food poisoning. He yeah, could yeah. barely, we, all of a sudden we looked at him and he was white as a ghost. We are like, oh, geez. Yeah. And his dad's like, yeah, he, uh, he's not doing so well. And he kind of underplayed. We're like, uh, he looks white as a ghost. And he was so good. He was U15 at the time. Yeah. Playing up U17 doubles and singles. And mix on the 15, and he manages to win his singles. Uh, U15 is mixed, and then barely lost his doubles. He was unbelievable. Yeah, and that's the thing I was going to say. He's, he's a good doubles player. He's mm. focused on singles because yeah. that's his better game, but yeah, he's, 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 he's really good. <laughs> he's a dominant L3. Yeah. He was a, a really good mixed player, too. Kitty Hushu had uh, a lot of success. Oh, nice net. That was beauty. Here we go. Took a little off there on a smash. I think it's good. Bit the angle. These are, these are big points. Yeah, got a couple back. That's a better rally. Popoff's showing some um, some variety on defense, so that's, that's fine. He's gonna have to just be prepared for any of the corners. There we go. In. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what happened there? He's kind of lost his legs. It was pretty short actually. <laughs> it did land a foot in front of the line. Stalling. Okay, three straight points. Well, yeah. This. Just good patience. I'm glad, I'm glad he listened to you. Three straight yeah. points. He's wise. That too. Yeah. Yeah, I hadn't looked at the rankings a little bit, and last time I remember Brian was around 30, and now it's nice to see him at 25. How can he make the next step to get into the top 20? For those of you Four hoping to watch the finals tomorrow, it starts at 11. So don't just watch today. You'll be here, right? Uh, I might. I'll, I'll just do this on my own. Oh, yeah, I'm driving you, aren't I? All right. <laughs> <laughs> be better. I'll be knocking on your door at <laughs> 6 a.m. So. 
points. Let's see, four points in a row. Here we go. This is good. He's back in now. Yeah. Four points is way better than seven. reach oh in the body. body smash yeah those are good plays right the the athletes are assuming that oh geez that the players looking to maybe cross that forehand so they go right into the body Ooh, short lift huh he's quick oh yeah those are tiring alleys <laughs> rally. look at that oh trying to watch. Yeah. yeah short lift pop off caught it like pop off's really good at I if if brian does make a stake mistake uh, pop off's on it he doesn't let him get away with much and he's not giving those unforced errors. I thought you were saying make a stink there. <laughs> make <laughs> a stink. <laughs> <laughs> he makes a stink. He's gonna <laughs> no, he's using the smell. <laughs> he might <laughs> be doing that too. But <laughs> um, no, you know what? He's he's not making the unforced errors. Like every yeah, every he's point, Brian's going to take advantage there. of the opportunities. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's going to be Brian that will dictate uh, win or lose. I think. And you know what? And and Popoff's approach might change if if Brian starts to make less unforced errors. Like we have to. But for now, this is good enough. Whoa. Oh, almost. Reverse slice. Just yeah. the top of the tape. Reverse straight slice. I like that one. Yep. Your racket goes in a cross court motion, so your opponent thinks it's going cross court, but the bird is sliced straight, so it, it's really good deception. You're, not, gi you're not giving up too much court, right? If your opponent reads the cross court slice, for example, it can open up the court against you. Here, you're you're already on that path. Oh, Whoa. nice. That was Whoa. a good backhand. Uh oh, he's going to. Ooh, oh. two mistakes, yeah. just like that. It's because of us. We said he doesn't yeah. make many mistakes. He makes two mistakes. That was a good dig out of the backhand corner. Yeah. That's amazing at uh, at this level. Or obviously at even, even higher ranked players, how good the backhands are. Yeah. You know, un under so much pressure, they have no time. And just quick wind up and then still find a way to smooth it out at the end. Oh, that's a nice cross. Yeah. That's good. There we go. Questioning the call, pop off. Oh, come on, boof. boof. <laughs> what am I saying? Say it. Boop, boop. Say it. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm going to leave both. Boop, boop. You do the accents. I'll leave you the rest. Not an accent. Oof. Nice. I like the tempo right now of the yeah. game for Brian. Sort of he's settling a bit more. Oh, that's a nice net. Just wide. Ooh. Again, that spin at the net, it's hard to control your lift. Even if you get a slight different angle, it's going to make the difference of the bird being in and out. Just see everybody. I wonder how much, like if you look at the location of the lights here, there's definitely one row of lights that goes down kind of the center of the court. Yeah. I wonder how much that plays in. You know, the row on the one side is a non-factor, the row on the other side, probably not very much. Well, you'll, you'll play in some of these gyms where you'll aim your long serve to land underneath oh wow. the light. Oh, that yeah. hammer that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is, uh, again, back to dangerous, dangerous uh, times here. Back up by four. I'm going to close the gap soon. What the? Missed it. He was head hunting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this coach is like not talking finances, this? folks. Head hunter. What the blazes was that? Might have said it in French, though. It was an accent. <laughs> oh, framed oh, it. Yeah, yeah. Missed uh, it. He framed yeah. it. That was a good idea. See, um, as a player, try to avoid that getting uh, consecutive errors like that. But change of pace by Paul. That's a weird sequence. Yeah, yeah. Clear cross, clear cross, cross down, and a half smash down. 
Oh, Ooh, wow. Good digging. Good reach. Nice. Oh, he, he, was, he was cheating up. He was hugging that Speaking back. of jumping jacks, he's like, what is he doing jumping jacks? Nice wow. cross. Great cross. Oof. Oh, oh yes. there it is. Quite I've been waiting for it. Yeah. Mike, I've been waiting for it. <laughs> there you this go. This whole game. There's the cross. You can't Smooth leave now. you got to stay here. Smooth operations. <laughs> Smooth operator. <laughs> you really can't sing. I should really. I where's your this. level? i got to turn that level down. My wife tells me all the time. <laughs> she says, you're a great dancer, Steph, but you really can't sing. Yeah, I don't know about your dancing either. I've wow. seen you dance. I mean, I just, you know. Do what you can to build your confidence. That uh, corner, he eh? cheated. Yeah, he's it worked. Yeah, he's leaning he's on that corner. Yeah. I'm trying to think if Brian has think it's Brian's cross backhand cleared yet, right? It's pretty much been all down. Uh, he's done one or two, but yeah. not from that so deep of position. And he hasn't cheated. crossed any of them. Guessing he has those shots. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, he read it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, nice, nice down the line. Good at holding it. I just said, yeah. oh. Uh, nice. Oh, just got it. Yeah. He hugged yeah. the line. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop saying that. He <laughs> okay, painted he the did. line. <laughs> nice. Very nice. 14, 18. Just wait on the straight smash. He's going to yeah. start mixing in uh, the cross. There, that one. The one thing I wish on the follow-up, he'd come in a little bit higher with his racket. Maybe he's taking an opportunity to sort of, you know. I think he's just lucky to get there sometimes. No, <laughs> but he, he, like, he still manages, no. uh, he still, like, comes in fairly smooth. Like, you know, he always seems like he's got an extra half second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He never gives a sense that he's rushing, even though he's moving uh, from mock speed. I feel like uh, in the course of the game, Popoff's reading Brian a little bit quicker than yeah, Brian's exactly. reading him. Yeah. He is, uh, he is uh, an intuitive. Yes. Intuitive. Ah, oh, la la. The shuttle did a little dance on top of the net. But it didn't want to tango. No. No. I, I, you know, I think Brian's doing the right thing. Thing. Do you, you want to tangle? Keep it. Dancing's not my thing. I think you're going numb. I know. <laughs> you're just jumping around here. <laughs> oh, twitchy. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That looks so easy. Yeah. Do it again. There's that, that forehand Seven without really turning and leaning into it. He just pops it down. Yeah. Pops it to pop off. Yeah, you were going to say that. Oh, it. you beat me to it. <laughs> pop it to pop off. It's funny when I say it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. Not over. No. Oh, how good would this be to come back after this? Let's just bring it to 18. Let's see what he's made of. Well, it's a good uh, it's a good pace for the next game either way, right? There you go. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. Fans are feeling it. This is where I'd be one point at a time, one point at a time. Don't look past one point. Like I said, 18, one more point. Oh. He's jumping, he's getting legs going. You could do that. You could, there. You could do that. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that yeah. was look at that, not eh? good. Technically not, not no. a very good, well-executed shot. No, okay. Couple, uh, now, do you think Popoff's uh, thinking about the game? Like, maybe I've got this one, and he's thinking about maybe... He's relaxed a bit, or he's moved on to the next one. I mean right now, Brian's not making an error, so part of it is making an error, but I don't know. So he, oh, jeez. Oh. oh, he threw in the clear. Oh. Nice. Nice Stay counter. In. Oh. Nice, I like that. Reset it. I like that he reset and tried to smash that one. He was a bit oh. ah. Almost. So some good stuff at the yeah. end there. Yeah. It's just uh, have to find a way to be you know, that consistent throughout the game. It's going to take that against a, a worthy opponent like a pop-off. 
Well, I think he his game got better and better as as he got going. A little rough to begin with, and then he closed the gap there in the end of the first game. So I think I think uh, he's he's coming in from a good spot for the second. I would be in a positive frame of mind for this one. Yeah, let's uh, hopefully see a third game. I'm going to go over Brian's uh, some of his results for this year. Um, so a lot of the bigger tournaments. Uh, so we have Denmark and Singapore, Thailand, England, Germany, England beating all Englands. Uh, he made around a 16, which, again, when you're playing the big tournaments, it means you're beating a quality opponent to get there. Pan Am Championships, he was second. Lost to the legend at Cordon uh, at our Canadian Open 100. Um, he was a quarter finalist. And um, actually made a semis in a, uh, at a tournament in India, 500, mm. which is very impressive. That's that's some good points. Um, and then 2001, you know, he'd won three titles, one in Denmark, Peru. Uh, those were, believe, those international challenges and uh, and the Pan Am Championship. So he's he's had a good year. And then uh, Mr. Popov uh, more recently had a quarterfinals of the Welsh International Challenge. He won the Dutch International Challenge. He mm. won the Belgium International Challenge. So won a tournament in October, won a tournament in September. The France International Challenge in his home country uh, was a finalist in June. And then uh, semis in, in the States in the New Orleans tournament and um, won a tournament in Ukraine in January. So three titles this year, uh, finals, and a bunch of quarters. And, and so he's, he's had a good year. And this is in addition to similar results in doubles. Yeah, so and I think that I think he's got that experience. He's had a lot of uh, a lot of mileage between the two, the two events. So he's a, yeah, as, as you mentioned before, he's a, a young veteran. Yeah, even though he's twenty, he's had. Any, and I remember him when World Juniors were here, as in 2019. Um, you know, he was he was already sort of creating some hype. And he was a key player for France and their success. And oh, hold on, oh nice back end. Well, he takes uh, Popov takes some chances and is able to recover after yeah. them. Right in? Yeah. Ah, come on, Brian. Make him earn it. One. Yep, good deceptive net hold there. It's like you were saying, for Brian to come in and take the bird higher at the net, it gives you more options and more deceptive abilities, and uh, sometimes easier said than done, but off the serve, that's a really good return. I mean, because he's got so many holds, so much deception, when he yeah. has the ability to come in high, he can really sort of you know, mess up the timing of his opponent. Obviously, it's not always possible. Like this, he's forced to lift here. I, I personally like the, the lift down the middle. I think it takes away some of the angle. Yeah, I think you and see. And if you're if the shuttle's still spinning a little bit, and you kind of misread it, then your attempt to go down the middle may end up the shuttle may end up more towards the corner. Nice. But it gives you that margin. That was yeah, well yeah, no, I agree. You see a lot more uh, lifting. I think the last five years, lifting and tagging towards the center. And this one, like right in the lights in the situation, yeah. their lights are almost in the center of the court. So one more potential factor. I just want to want a couple rallies on that cross court net shot. He Again, he gets in there high. It looks like he might be lifting it, and he just crosses it on his uh, to the other side there. Definitely not a shot you want to <laughs> overdo, but uh, oh, that's why. Nice. There you go. Okay. Good pressure. Yeah. He had him reaching, and then, and then quick pressure on the opposite side, so forced him to essentially force his back in. A couple quick points there for Brian. Nothing better, yeah. The crowd's responding. You're right. It's a little more lively. It's getting there. Yeah, yeah. They're waking yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one staff, I can't remember her name. She's getting all the, clock, the whole uh, the whole crowd fired up in between oh the right games. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think... I keep I don't waiting for her to throw, throw T-shirts. Did I ever tell you my... T-shirt gun? So, T-shirt gun. I ever told you the hot dog story? Uh, with, uh, some, so, I was with my wife and, and I, our son, Tristan. And he was like, we're at a... Uh, we were at a... Uh, called rugby game the uh the Toronto team had the rugby game and I was like I'm craving a hot dog <laughs> and he was in oh well that was close but I yeah. it was very close but I think I I'm almost sitting on line I think it caught the outside line but it was extremely close and if you're a Canadian linesman give the benefit to the Canadian player oh I shouldn't say that sorry <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's like daddy want a hot dog and it was an uh, you know just maybe three years ago, and I was like, I don't know, hot dog. Uh, it's so overpriced. Like, seriously, can you just give me a hot dog? And I'm not kidding you. 
it was like an answer from God dropping from the sky. Oh so <laughs> this this gun comes out, and I'm just assuming it's a T-shirt gun. <laughs> they were shooting out hot dogs. Okay. I'm not kidding you. And I was like, I'm not getting a hot dog. Boom. This hot dog traveled about <laughs> 600 feet and lands right next to his feet, like tumbles over. I think it opened. I <laughs> collected about half the rocks on the, the stairs. And uh, he's like, he looks at me. I was like, okay, fine. You can have a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I have no idea why I'm saying this story uh, and what it's related to, but it's fun. I'm glad I got it on my chest. Here we go. Good story. Oh, yeah, T-shirt lady. That's right. She's okay. getting the crowd fired up. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, 4-3. Three. 3-4. Three, so, you know, uh, Popov arguing the line call. The line's been called in. Uh, umpire's on the opposite line, unless it's a really bad line call, which, you know, yeah, it was he's close enough. He's not going to override overrule. it. Yeah, yeah. Because he's maybe you're hoping for a future overrule later on. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't think Popov overreacted. It was extremely no, no. close, and he probably thought it was actually out, and mm-hmm. hoping. And nice. Nicely yeah. done. I like that. He was ready for that line smash. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I think Brian's throwing a few different shots in, and he's getting them this time. You know, he's not backed off his game, and he's Knuckle not... Knuckle knuckleballs. Yes. As the kids call them these days. Ooh, he th- it's funny how he throws his arms up once in a while, right? Did you notice yeah. that? Yeah, again, he kind of went like... Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like it's uh, his way of resetting and pushing off. Very dramatic. It is when you do it. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Follow up. <laughs> it was, yes. 6-3, here we go. Can you extend that lead and get the early uh, the early uh, <laughs> halftime lead on the game? A couple of long rallies. The players are going to take a little extra time between, uh, between the point. 6-3, Brian serving. Oh, that was a tight serve. Good defense. Yeah, he went cross with his back end. Sounds like a cannon, those shots. I know. Nice reverse. Both players are trying to really place a shuttle here. They're testing each other's positions. Oh, oh, that was in? Yeah. Oh, that's in. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Oh, in survival mode, he almost made it. One more defensive shot, he may have been able to go back to kind of a neutral uh, state. No. But you know what? He made him earn it. Yep. He's, he's spending a lot of energy jumping, so that part's good. Yeah, if Brian can find a way to get this to three, it would for, I think, a real treat. A long three-gamer. No, I'm waiting for... Pop off just show some signs of fatigue, but he's not. I keep thinking that Brian might have more legs in him than than um, Christo does, but I'm not sure. He is not really showing any signs of that. Keep waiting for him to pop one off. <laughs> <laughs> pop, pop off. <laughs> I just again. I'm you're gonna keep. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, keep, keep keep working it. I think there's more to come. Nice net sequence. Short lift. Oh, right well on. done. Yeah. Good you patience, right? Because <laughs> it, it's not like uh, Christo's first net shot wasn't bad. He's a good, good counter net. So you just sort of you have to be confident to stick to your guns there and counter the net. And, and, out. and those high, high lifts that come straight down. Not easy. They're hard to judge. Those yeah. are the ones you, well, me, sometimes hit in the net on the smash. And Brian hit a good smash and close to the line still. Just really accurate. If, if I missed, missed time my two-inch vertical jump, <laughs> it could be really <laughs> tricky, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. He changed it last second, though. Yeah. It's almost like he didn't know where it was going. I always say the best form of deception, if you don't know where, if I don't know where I'm hitting, how are you supposed to know? Yeah. Right? And I use that and a lot. That's all that's standard. <laughs> so I usually <laughs> don't know where I'm hitting, <laughs> and, and it works. Best form of deception. Eight four, Brian up. Definitely more consistent this game. Kind of settled down. Whoa. I haven't heard a lot of yelling this uh, today. Oh, no, actually, it's been, it's been uh, better than their typical provincial junior tournaments. Yeah. Oi. You going to start doing more now? <laughs> You're making well, up for I it? Kinda yeah. f- I kind of <laughs> forgot about it, yeah. <laughs> they gave us two oys in a row. So it's fired up.
This nice. little. Oh. Like the, mm -hmm. go ahead. I like those quick drops. They're not full on smashing. It's just a yeah, good yeah. angle, fast drop, pops down, just uh, uh, just moves your opponent to the sides without taking a lot of risk. I definitely feel like pop off is a little. Like so when Brian is stretching him with, let's say, a quick flick kind of. Uh, quick flick lift. He's a little more capable on the forehand side to sort of get the shuttle down with a variety of shots mm. around the head. Like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's. Wasn't, didn't really get it behind him. No. Uh, around the head, a little bit less option. There's a bit more to explore there. It's in, it's in. Yeah, yeah it I thought it was going out too. Yeah. He had the special sauce, curved it in. <laughs> it's curveball, instead of knuckleball. Just blocked to the center. Nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. Done. Yeah. 11, six, we'll take it. Boy, that was, there's that. He, Brian's really Perfect been pushing your Papa's forehand. He, he literally, like, when he lifted was exactly when he planted. <laughs> yeah. But he's been working that deep forehand. That's that's harder than the backhand sometimes. It's tiring to dig it out of the back of the deep forehand corner like that. And he's really been working Popov's corner there. Plus I think it helped that he blocked the first one to the center. I think Popov thought he might get that one again there. So what's uh your Popov's coach? What are you saying? Um yeah, I think I mean, nothing, not not huge adjustments. I think it's it's one of those situations where you say, listen, you know, f first game, it was good enough to just be the solid player and, and, and maybe a bit more the counter puncher. And, and Brian was kind of giving you now. Now Brian's up his games. So now have to be willing to go for a bit more. It doesn't mean that he doesn't extend the rally, you know, at, at the right time. But um, to maybe be, you know, to be willing to to, uh, to look to end the point uh, on a first opportunity. But he's still. He has, to, he has to do it in a creative way. He can't just blast the smash and mix in the shots, but just, you know, just they're little micro adjustments. Yeah, it's tough sometimes when the your opponent doesn't always play their best the first game and then, then they tidy it up a bit, and now you've got to step it up a notch to to uh, keep pace. He, he may just shot. need to adjust. Like Brian's now done a nice job of, like, holding it and pushing it back, and he's catching a little bit. It's like the timing has shifted a bit, and, you know, the adjustment of, of, uh, of Brian in terms of him holding it. So he may just need to adjust and not you know, be too ready to push off forward yeah. and sort of, s you know, stay in that athletic stance. You can you can adjust your feet and look to, you know, set yourself up to push off in a certain corner without moving your actual stance. Ooh. That was nice. Oh. Wow, that was nice. The, the whole <laughs> body know, was moving. Shoulder, the whole thing, yeah. right? It's hard to, wow, that was really nice. Wow. Oh, you just do that. Coach told him to do that. <laughs> um, oh, that was loose. Yeah. He's not... Um, now, the minute I say this, he'll start doing it again, but I don't find Popoff's anticipating oh. and guessing. <laughs> that was yeah, a, yeah, I can do back. it too. I know, Remember yeah, Michelle did to Rachel earlier? Yeah. Hey, told you these <laughs> athletes are stubborn. <laughs> oh, yeah? I can do it too. I got one of those. Wow. I'd love to know what Brian's thinking because no one has any idea because he's poker face. Yeah. But if he's actually, he was like, yeah, I'll do two. Good dig. Wow! Nice. There we go. This is it. Yeah, yeah. World class dive defense. Good follow up. And pop off. Yeah, out uh, of that deep forehand, he's already at the net. But it was smart. Return. He recognized that all he could basically do there was block it. Yeah. Right. So it was worth the risk of uh, yeah. uh, potentially get caught on, on a lift would have been very difficult. It's okay. I mean, at this at this stage, you know, it can be an exchange of points all the way to the end, and that's fine for Brian. Right. They just don't want to give away two, three in a row. Yeah, you just got to hold down one the one unforced or errors two or two and. Or Oh, a little drive serve. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> barely got it. <laughs> and he missed it. So <laughs> if you and I were doing that, you know that I would pull my, as my mother would say, my French mother, <laughs> abdominal. I would pull my <laughs> abdominal muscle, right? If I have to go back that fast, <laughs> I'm pulling a muscle. I just Oof. like the look Popoff gave him for mishitting it. 
Really? You're going to take that point? Well, it was a cheesy serve, so, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah, out. That's it's true. out. It's out. Yeah, it's close, yeah. but it's out. Oh, th on this side. Feel, line. Free to, like, feel free to not react. He's looking at he the wrong linesman. It's this side. He's looking at the wrong one. The guy hasn't twitched a finger. He's like super oh, steady. Yeah. Poker face. That was a big point. To go up seven is nice. Yeah. Oof. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Oh, it's out. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we're at that stage now where... Yeah, it's a different body language that'll pop off. I, I sort of... I got 16-8. I sort of wonder, is he going to be like... Almost like discarding this game. Now the coach has already put his jacket on. He's yeah. ready. <laughs> See that? He's <laughs> yeah. put his jacket on. <laughs> okay. That's your first sign. Yeah, but but this is where you got to watch <laughs> it too, right? You just got to say, okay, don't get oh fooled no, into I thinking I the guy's sailed on. Comebacks, yeah. yeah. Cross. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. This is where I always tell my uh, players, Nine. reverse the score in your head. So you you're ahead. You're ahead, and uh, the opponent's maybe not playing as solid, and then you've just got to uh, stay sharp, uh, which Brian's doing. That looked like a bit of a give up. Um, yeah, yeah. Are they yeah. confused when you say that? Because <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> yeah. Reverse the score. Well, if you're uh, winning, if you're way up, so then you sort of relax. 21 <laughs> still? <laughs> in your head, you reverse. You're up, say, well, in this case, 16-8. So I have nine on coach. Does that mean I go to nine, 11 now? So or you're like <laughs> one of my juniors. You've got to listen. <laughs> no, I'm thinking. Pretend like you've got eight, and he's got 16. You just can't let go of a point at all. Hey, whatever works, boss. Okay, there you go. That's what I want to hear. A slow drop. He's doing yeah. some weird stuff here. Yeah, yeah. He's kind of just... He's fooling around. Exhibition yeah. style. Which can be dangerous, too. Yeah, oh. yeah. What the... Oh. Yeah, yeah, he's sort of letting it go he for just, the yeah, next game. Look, the fact that he's taking this a backhand. Yeah, he hasn't taken a backhand all day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's just... Well, I called it a couple points ago. <laughs> Not a credit or anything. <laughs> I think but you are. credit. I think you are. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine as long as you don't do something uh, silly to injure yourself. Yeah, that uh, that one shot looked a little bit dodgy. <laughs> Here you go again with your dodge dip yeah. dive. <laughs> this is where Brian's just got to keep at it, doing the same thing he's been doing from the beginning. Yeah, yeah he's, th he's throwing this game. Yeah. Got your third game, I think, coming up. All right, folks, get ready. Now's the time to go to the washroom. Do what you got to do. Get another beverage. <laughs> get some popcorn. Oh. A <laughs> so. couple unrealistic points, and uh, we're almost ready to move on. <laughs> He's using tr trick shots now. Oh wait, dead silence. No one's reacting. <laughs> He's begging Brian to smash it. <laughs> <On that lift. laughs> See that reverse? Yeah. Reverse backhand slice. Reverse straight backhand. That's a tough. Do you remember that camp we were part of at one point? Uh, some high-level Japanese coaches. And yeah, and yeah. We did a. They had the about an hour and a half of reverse slice backhand drilling, and I was like, "It's a neat shot, but don't still really can't hit it. Ever get to use it because <laughs> if you can hit a reverse backhand slice, then you're probably in a position you could have avoided hitting the backhand and hit around the head. It's a good exhibition shot. There you go. All right. Okay. Yeah, we sort of tanked the last six rallies, which is fine. Conserving his energy, getting ready for the third. Don't expect him to be uh, uh, anywhere near the same in the start of the game at 0 0. He'll be uh, spunky as ever. Yep. Funky, funky. Yep, sort of saving his mojo for the, the, the third game. You know what? I'm saving my mojo for the third game. I haven't seen nothing yet. I want to see you run down on the before. <laughs> in the shoes now. Where are my skateboarding shoes? Come on. I don't need a skateboard. This is where fitness is going to start to factor in. Not that uh, I think either one of these players is not fit, but uh, we'll see. 
Yep, and just uh, tidy up the courts between Feathers and Sweat. Get it ready for the last match, last game of the night. Nobody leaving here. We have uh, we had a number of Canadians in, in our semifinal match today. We had actually six Canadians, which is very impressive. Uh, only one has prevailed, uh, Michelle Lee, so it would be nice to get a second one, uh, second match in there. We potentially have another couple co-main events. You getting used to the, the words co-main event? I like that. Yeah. Right. Still don't understand it, but... Did you know that there was a large study, a British study done oh, on sports? Oh, I, well thought, you looking, looking I thought you were looking serious. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why is he giving me the, 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 the eyebrow? Here it goes. The study looked at the link between six different types of exercise, racket sports, swimming, aer aerobics, cycling, running, and soccer, and the risk of early death. Oh, what? sorry. Why did you just look at me when you said death? <laughs> <laughs> you better run around the block here before we do He's the third game. Folks. Over 80,000 people were included. And the bottom line is the study, which spanned nine years, showed that people who regularly played racket sports were 47% less likely to die. You not saying the word die. It's <laughs> a pretty good reason to play badminton. Uh, wow, that came out of nowhere. You just, like, you put your well, intellectual a dead like time glasses I on. I thought you were going to start pulling out an accent or talk about hot dogs again. No, 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 no. So I, uh, I'm glad you filled the space with okay. some, <laughs> you got me some worried. educational, uh, <laughs> inspiring talk. <laughs> no, that is good. Obviously, that's, that's a great... Uh, we need to use that with our, our membership to get more people playing. Yes. Live longer. Play badminton. Longer and livelier and happier. All right. Just a couple points. We'll see. Uh, these players will settle in. Whether or not, you know, both players obviously won their games on the same side. Whether or not that has any factor, you know, if it's just coincidence or if it has anything to do with oh. potential s slight drafts one way or the other. Um, you know, if you're Brian right now, you're thinking, just get to 11 first. What are the scores? Wow. And then close it on the winning side. That's a great, that is a statement rally. Yeah. Right? I know it's only 2 nothing, but that is a statement rally. You know, I didn't play a lot of singles later on in my badminton career. I stuck to doubles, but I still remember playing singles and having rallies like that early on in the match going, how oh am I going to last so this long? Points, There's so yeah. many points I got to do this. Yuck. Yeah, luckily they're not all like that. But uh, That's yeah, why just a good example of uh, Julian is giving some, some more fluids to our, our athletes. Uh, it's such a good example. These athletes are so fit. I mean, yeah. they're so fit. Obviously, when the scoring changed to a rally point system uh, a number of years ago, probably, what, close to 15 now? Yeah, I think so, 10. Um, you know, it, it really allowed the athletes to, to be more explosive and not sort of pace themselves and just sort of try to wear someone out with, you know, within a game. So it allowed you to sort of attack essentially all game long. You change the game style. Yeah, and then you're still getting matches like this than the one we watched in the beginning where you get hour-long matches. It yeah. It sped things up and then... Players have adapted and rallies are longer and it's just more explosive, like you said. Ooh. Oh, wow. I missed that. Oh, smooth. Last court return to smash. It's a really good shot. Hard to do. Brian coming in higher. Oh, there's that clear. Yeah. 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 It's done it yet. Nice. Oof. Mm. Both players playing some, some solid bounds right now. This is good. This is high quality. Three, one. I think it made it shows us it's fairly obvious that he <laughs> was sort of tanking the last six, seven rallies. He's been really trying. And he's yeah. Back, he's back to being focused. Trying to make sure the canning here. Ooh, just mm -hmm. wide. But I think you see that not uh, pretty regularly in singles where someone's down, they've had a lot of, they've been running around, person, their opponent starts to run away from them a bit, they'll say, okay, I'll write this one off, get ready for the next one. Pick and choose your battles. Yeah. It's difficult to be, not that you're not fully engaged the whole match, but it's difficult to be 
100%. You are moving at your absolute fastest slow time. There has to be you know, a little bit of a, of a recovery. Yeah. Some rallies. Yeah. And you can sort of it, cut your losses. You know, it's one thing if there was a, a, a minute gap or a 30 second gap between rallies, but it's, you know, the rule says it, the play has to be continuous, whatever that is. Um, whether that ends up being 10 seconds or 20 seconds, but it's fairly quick. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah, yeah, it's over. That, oh. The forehand, work on the forehand, eh? There you go, little doubles. So, as beautiful as that cross court net shot was, Popoff in that situation has got to recognize that's all he has. Yeah, he's used he's it a lot. He's so low yeah. that he, like, what are the chances that he can sneak in a, a straight net? So he needs to just take one step to his left. Not that I want him to, but take one step to his mm -hmm. left to sort of take away that center. Because if you're, you know, when you're doing those sharp cross courts, you're not wanting, you don't want to chase the, the sort of the final no. destination. You want to cut it off through the center. It has to come through the center to get there, so. Yeah. This is a good, good high percentage balance right now. Yeah. I like that shot. So you combine that shot with his, his regular quality full smash down the line, you've got yourself yeah. a nice pattern of opposite corners. Does it pop off a little slower out of the mark? I don't think so. I think it's just, yeah. a, just, just a good high see. percentage. Well, yeah, yeah you, didn't, you didn't sort of show it. What's the issue? I think... Uh, you want to change the shuttle? Yeah, I don't think... So somebody doesn't want permission. to change it. I'm yeah. guessing... It's <laughs> I'm guessing Brian's saying no. Oh, and he's, he's talking over... He's yeah, he's asking the bypassing the referee. So, again, these, these moments can be tricky for either player. So, if you're Brian right now, you let him... Oh, you let him... Oh, yellow card. Carded, yellow card. You so let him sort of argue. You sort of towel off. You maybe have a sip of water. You get back on the court. None of this needs to affect you. But is this, you is this a delay of game? Is Popoff tired? And he's I think he's cause generally irritated by the fact that he thinks the shuttle should be changed. And, all right, like if you, I'm going to play devil's advocate. If he legitimately thinks that the shuttle is a feather slightly broken and maybe, you know, from his chair, probably maybe can't see it. Um, I think he's. I think he's actually generally just irritated. Whether he's right or wrong, I don't know, because mm. we can't see from here. So he's got the head referee coming out. Right. Yeah, I would say that. If my lip go reading off, so is good, I am seeing merde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? I I think this could be just a little bit of a style tactic. Yeah, I think which is a bit strange at three five, but or five three, but but the rallies were long. I think he's just now at this his at this point, the yellow card is there's no taking that back. Like he's he's giving the yellow card, right? So there's nothing. I don't think there's anything the head referee can do to retract no the yellow card, right? Which means the next card is red. Is that a default? Or is that is it, it or I think about it. It's red and black, isn't it? Yeah, I think black is your out. Unlike soccer, where it's it's two yellows equals a red, or a yellow then red. Soccer being football. A lot of debate going on here. He's got to be careful. He can't. Yeah, he can't uh, go on much longer. It's almost like he's forgetting that we're here. Does he know there are people watching? Yeah. Let's remind him. Hey, I'm off. Okay, so he's. Yeah. Strange delay. So again, we can't hear what they're saying. We're assuming that he <laughs> he's showing Brian again that he, he wants to change the shuttle. And also, Brian's agreeing to sh like Brian's agreeing to discard. Oh really? Him. After all that, <laughs> so he, he's like no, he's definitely pissy now. So here's here's where here's where I'm interested. Wait, wait. So after all of this, he, he went he went like this to show Brian. Yeah. I, I saw Brian like you know what? I actually don't know what he's agreeing to. If he, if he was agreeing to changing it or agreeing to no, I think it's fine to play. He kind of threw it at him. This is gonna be oh no, you don't wanna give him right. that. You wanna make him work for it. <laughs> so now 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 pop off has to change the it. he can change it. Four. Right. <laughs> so like, yeah, you can change it. So the red card is a point. So if he gets a red right. card, then the point go he loses a point and then black card well is okay, it's night night. Yeah. I don't know if they word it that way, but huh. <laughs> Should I keep it censored? You love after some one of these, right? Just kind of get back and oh smash yeah, it. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fired up. No. So that's not what you wanted. No. Now he's got his opportunity no. to get fired up. It'll take a little bit more to rattle Brian. But that's, you know, to me, that's a bit of a shake up of your opponent. Some, there's some gamesmanship there. Yep. Um, I mean, again, what are you going to do? It happens. Brian has enough experience to, to handle this. Oh, my.
<coughs> his screams, there we go, is he warning him? His screams in the direction of Ryan is something right. you have to watch. I think he's gonna, our guard is going to warn him about that. You yeah, can get yeah, away yeah. with a fair amount of screaming and fist pumping if you turn away from the action, yeah. essentially away from your opponent, because it's, it's seen as combative, right? Which it kind of is at this point. And he's got to be careful the fact that he's already received the yellow card. Well, this things have worked out nicely to his advantage since the uh, fiasco. See, I feel like he's got more uh, tools uh, on the foreign side. When he's pushed back, he can still attack and, and hit his cut shots. And it's a good net. It's death matching. Yeah. Yeah. Good defense, Ryan. Ryan. Wow. Very nice defense. Good, good, good cut off. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that's <laughs> close. It's the right spot, but he missed it. Think it was wide? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You seem pretty sure yourself. Five. Close. Well, uh, one row. Yeah. This is what John McEnroe used to make a living out of. Yeah. Doing little, <laughs> having little hissy fits. Yeah. And then the percentages, like when they, they, they've sort of, not my study, obviously, but the, you know, every time he'd, have, he'd make a big raw raw, a big deal, a big, he, it was something like 85% of the time, he would win the next rally. Mm. Like, so it you kind of recognize that that was not coincidence. It was, it was controlled emotional outburst. Well, and whether or not Popov did this deliberately, he's he's done a nice job of turning this into turning the anger into something positive. Yeah, Broke break strings. strings. There we yeah, go. yeah. And th at this level, if your string breaks at 30 pounds, there's nothing really hitting the bird. But but there, you've got Popov talking and doing all this uh, discussion, and Brian's just standing there, sort of cooling off. Crowd's getting going. It's about time. <coughs> yeah, he's doing that. Keep it going. There you go. If this tournament was was in another country, there's a good chance that the you know, if this is in France, the French crowd would be rowdy. So we've we've not our crowd has not taken advantage of the crowd advantage here. We gotta start getting rowdy, fired up. I like that. Just brought it right back to the center. Yeah, take away the angle. Everything around the center. Ooh. Ooh. Broke it down. I like there that it cross. Yeah. Very well, though. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh wow. Oh, he yeah. still almost made it. Yeah. Good quality play. They're both yeah. stepping it up here. This is good. This is setting up for an epic <laughs> finale. Have to hold on that sentence. I was. I probably shouldn't stare at you. Like that on your microphone. That was, uh, <laughs> or yours, actually. Yeah, you're oh. right. That was intimidating. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the nicest way. That pop off gets me fired up. Oh, wow. See, wow. Popov has taken his chance there. Nice Whoa, shot. Wow. He, oh, the yeah. timing of that was fantastic. Yeah, an angle, too. He turned it into quite the lift and such a compact. Wow. Good response from Brian. What is those uh, four points? Huh. Trying to figure out where that sweat mark is. Well, and, and there's an example of Popoff kind of jumping the net and, and guessing wrong, but he, he's still trying to keep Brian on his mental toes. It's like if you hit the wrong shot, I'm anticipating something, and, and it keeps Brian, it's got to be sharp. It's almost I like mean doubles. You've you know? got, it's, it's worth the risk. I mean, yeah. you've got to take chances to, uh, you know, he, he's in it to win it. He's not hoping for a donation, so you, you have to get caught once in a while because you'll get some free, free points elsewhere. And and I think Popoff's the type of player that can recover from something like that. If he makes a, a, a step guess here or there, he's still fast enough to get back in the rally. And he's also good at kind of hitting the right kind of recovery shot to get himself back in position, right? It's not always yeah. Yeah. just speed. It's giving yourself a shot that allows oh. you time to get back to good position. If you're someone like Loken Yu or Ginting, it almost doesn't matter. It's wow. so quick. Yeah. Right? 
Brian right on the line on that one. He missed it uh, a couple of rallies earlier, but straight yeah, he's down sort line. of dialing in, right? It's yeah. like you know he's really sort of figured this out his range, and he's <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> folks, Mike's getting a little giddy here. He was up at what three in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, Oh. Well, is that going to be short? I don't, I don't think, think so. I think the net popped it over. Wow, there's that line again. Oh, oh. That's a tough one. He's really reaching on it. He is uh, He is really hammering those. Oh, that's going to be a tough oh, one. Oh, yeah. He still made it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Like you said earlier, he's got to be careful pop off because if he does make contact Eight. over the net, it's a fault. It but always amazes me those situations. Uh, one player will net roll, and the other player will. More than half the time, still find a way to get it back. I over. know. I mean, it obviously it was a bit high and a bit loose, but just the fact that he's able to you know, find it's still not an easy shot to. Our local cult players will be hammering the net on the, on the <laughs> putaway. <Yeah. laughs> that will be bouncing. Short, but not bad. <laughs> you know, the other thing is those net holds where you. Deceive your opponent a bit. That's so tiring on the legs. Oh yeah. Down in that squat position, back and forth. That's like when I've when I've been in situations where I've worked with you know some junior national teams at, at uh, international events. Um, that's kind of one of the things that when they haven't played world class players and even at a junior level, they, they just can't believe how exhausting it is to try to read someone's fakes the whole time. It just oh no, it takes so much juice out of your legs. Dude, over and over and over. Yeah. It's just like, so you'll see our players like hang in till 11, and then it kind of, the rest of the game yeah. is, is gone. And then if they don't hang in at the start of the next one, it's just over in a hurry. Because they're just, they're just sort of. Knees are a little dancing, mushy. You know, yeah. Like wasting yeah. so much energy <laughs> back and forth. So to find a way to still be, be in a, red, uh, no, a position where you're ready to explode, but where you're not holding so much tension, right? So you're and just obviously facing opponents like this over and over. Trainings like, like people like Axelson, you're going to be ready for it. Oof. Sort of get the sense when, when the game speed goes down a notch. Oh. Whoa. That hit his head? No, he's saying hit his racket, maybe. I think he's trying to see. I don't know. Um, what's he? I don't know. Just the, the off referee, referee, like he hit my head. He said he hit my head. <laughs> um, yeah, it, yeah. When the when the rallies get a bit slower, it sort of feel like it, it is to uh, pop off advantage. Yeah, I uh, think Brian wants the pace, and and I, I think and you're and right. Not like Brian needs to play fast, 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 but like that in and out of, of changing speed, and and not the pop off can't do that. But again, we're, we're, we're on. If it's a 5% advantage one way or the other, it's off nice to shot. Wow. enough of an advantage. That was nicely done. Wow. You love to get to 11 on your first opportunity, right? Yeah. And but now everyone's won on this side so far, right? Except for this route. Neil and Adam. Oh, no, no, sorry. In sing like both oh, the singles. singles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. winner's been on this side. Yeah. And now, you know, Brian is getting to hold the winning side uh, with 11-9 uh, lead, so that's good. That, that smash kind of just blew right by Popoff. I think he was surprised he missed it. Kind of looked like it went through Cause his... Because he's not showing it. He's coming up, and he's not showing sort of any body rotation. He's just coming out, boom, right and off, Brian. off yeah. the racket. It's yeah. very clean. Nice controlled attack. Well done. Half a game left. This is one of the BWF badminton events and BWF money for total tournaments this year is now at, uh, I think it's 14 million, which you can't really compare to tennis or anything else, all but it's pretty together? good. Yeah, all tournaments. They're total prize money overall. That's basically one tennis tournament? Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Half of a, or a third of a golf tournament, but it's gone up. I think that's about three times what it was three or four years ago. So as it should, yeah, yeah. it's incredible. Yeah. Oh, wow, we wow. got caught there. Yeah, that's that a one. little short. Yeah. <laughs> B 
BW BWF being a Badminton World Federation. And if you're watching this feed, then uh, this is off of YouTube, but BWF's feed is BWF TV. You can watch lots of other badminton. Well, it's a badminton. Yeah. Like I remember earlier in my coaching career, it was so hard to, to you know, unless you're at a, a competition, it's so difficult. Someone's like, oh, here, I got this DVD. It's so difficult to watch. Yeah. Now you can just watch everything. It's yeah. amazing. And, and the quality is, is great, right? It's all 1080 and it's so good. Wow. Good change up. Yes. Oh, that's, that's that well shot. Done. That cross but court, but fast drop. And but e the, the pace of those clears, right? Yeah. Were just, again, it was punchy. Yeah, so as as your as the opponent, you're either trying to cover that fast punch clear that's going behind you, you just have to lean back. Because he's making that. it look like he's going to attack yeah. downwards, right? And then the last second, he changes the height. So you've got your opponent's kind of leaning forward, and there's a bit of an opening. So you're hoping he's not going to get there on time there. Intercept it. Oh. See, that's low again. Yeah. Oh. Nice hold. Uh, all right. It, well, it was the right play. It's yeah. too close to. Yeah, I, I think it was going Mike, in. When in doubt, it's not a. Mm. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, it's I agree by that. It's not as good as the the riddle in the middle, but I'll I'll, I'll use <laughs> it. You know what? Let's have the fans vote. <laughs> fans, if you can uh, send us your tweets. No. <laughs> Is the voice? Oh, bad serve. Rush in the serve. Got away one. Oh, oh that yeah, serve yeah, was not yeah. good. Yeah. It takes courage to rush a serve like that because you can easily get caught, which he almost did. It was a doubles thing, right? Doubles player. Just a little more distance to cover. As you can see, Brian is still wearing a uh, yeah. uh, th uh, little safety thing on his ankle. Right, brace. yeah. You'd, you'd, uh, you know, I can't remember if he had rolled with your typical Edwards uh, a number of months ago, so I think. I think it was at the Commonwealth Games. He had the default. I'm not sure at this point if it's more of a, of a placebo effect or just... Make you feel confident that nothing will happen. Oh. Oh. Overall, this is very high quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even we are on the match. That's great. Nice. nice He's catching pop off. Uh, Brian's catching pop off just a little bit more on the on the but underhand that, net lift. That's the side. You're on the head side. Where I find he, he can he can uh, whether it's from a, a more of attacking style clear or just even a, a hold. And, and flick where there's a little you know, easier pop to off read it. Yeah, it's kind of like continuing the rally. He's not really damaging. This is, there's some a few more openings where he's a bit more solid on the forehand side. Smart play here by Brian. Oh, the flick serve. Whoa. Oh, you know Mac. Wow, he's fast. Yeah, which is impressive considering he, he just went that fast moving forward. Just yeah. before <laughs> <laughs> he just rushed the shorts. I get why he flicked it. He just yeah. finished rushing him. And now somewhere in between. <laughs> yeah. Now what to do? Oh, you hit a better short serve. Oh, look at oh this. No. <laughs> little gamesmanship yeah. here. See, like, he's, he, he'll hit a decent shot, but it's not it's not damaging. He just kind of continue the rally. Whereas here, he's got a few more options. I like that nice local ear. Here, I'll take the net. I like that. Brian seems kind of content right now to just yeah, yeah. lift and reset. Is it in? He's really pumping in the corner. Called in? Uh, yeah. It I think he thinks was, Wasn't out. he reacting like it was going to be out? Yeah, I think the so. The way he casually had a drop? Yeah. He just, I, you know I what? That might be fatigue. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I want to give up. Yeah, that feeling. Like that. He's like, you got someone. The python is squeezed. <laughs> Not sure why I'm making hand gestures. I don't know why. I, don't know why I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making all these hand gestures. No one can see me. Sorry if there was an awkward silence after that comment of yours. <laughs> I, uh, I really do have a face for radio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh you know another what? mistake. <laughs> mistake? No? Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's no, that's not working. Yeah. All right, here we go, Brian. He's been, uh, Brian's been very impressive the last, uh, Tennis or rallies. Yeah, sir, that's good. Oh, nice. Oh, that was tight. 
Nice. Wow. And smash again. That is well placed. Yeah. Off that high, high lift. A short high again, lift. Here's where I find Brian can be so unassuming and sort of like a man of <laughs> international man of mystery where <laughs> like you don't know what he's thinking like yeah, is yeah. he fired up right now is he upset is he tired is I he think he's I have no idea what he's thinking I think he's it's completely fired up he, he's <laughs> wow right, yeah. yet his heart rate's at 43 and he's like oh, yeah. you know burn 9,000 calories um, can be can be a little bit discouraging I think to be bone sometimes to be like I don't know what this kid's thinking well I think I think Popoff was trying to get him going a bit and he's getting nothing it out of him it almost looked like it worked he's had those what three four yeah, three yeah. points four three points and then and then Brian responded, which, uh, you know, elite athletes do. Look at that. He's taking to him right now. Oh. Whoa. Oh, yeah. my goodness. That's a big one. <coughs> that's a big one. Yeah. Wow. That, that's, um, that's a bit of a, a tired or giving all or nothing kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. And so to not, like, it's one thing if he had, if he had made that shot, he could have, you know, <coughs> uh, you know, try to get him fired up. It's been a physical match. I mean, it's oh, yeah. been an excellent match. Oh, nice return. Whoa. Did he Whoa. make that? Did he just make that? Yeah, yeah. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, yeah. It yeah. was hugging and kissing <laughs> the nets, <laughs> sliding across, move your smooth hands. sailing. <laughs> it spent more time on the net. I timed it. It was 2.4 seconds on the net before it dropped. Oh. Wow. Yeah, and Brian's feeling it right now. He's feeling pretty yeah. confident. Look at that. Uh -huh. that. Yeah, he's wow. like constantly yeah. net rolling, but he's just able to wow keep the How pace many going. In a row? It was it was fourteen twelve. I think it was fourteen twelve. Hey, they had six in a row. You can count the seconds on the net. You must know the score. Two point four seconds. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you try to test me. How dare you? <laughs> know what I'm talking about half the time. Wow, well, Brian's really, well, he's really turned it around after that first game of he sort of settled in nicely. Settled in. All right. There you go. Yeah. Oh, he's in. Oh, good nets. His whole attack right now is kind of revolving on his quality net shots. Oh, yeah. kill it. Whoa, whoa. Well, that's very well done. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there's a you can tell yeah. that Popoff is like, he's looking at him like too good. Like, it's yeah. just right. When, yeah. like, as an athlete, obviously you're upset when you lose, but when you when you lose to a, you know, he understands that Brian did an outstanding job. He was just a little bit better in the end. And that's it. You sort of respect your, for your opponent. Yep, great wow. uh, fight by finish. Brian and Popoff. And uh, nice to see well, Brian in the finals tomorrow. And uh, the so crowd, tune in tomorrow. The crowd's awake now. It is. They are awake. So Brian Yang wins that last match, 21-18, 11-21, sorry, 18-21, 21-11, 21-13. So tune in tomorrow starting at 11 for tomorrow's matches. We'll see you then. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care.